Today I'm going to show you how to pose for erotic photography. Hi everyone, I'm Yulia Panchenko and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Exciting news, we just released another course on Believe in Boudoir or BIB TV and this course is on erotic photography. In today's video, I will show you a class from this course and this class is on posing for erotic photography. Rene, our model, is getting ready right now, so let's dive into the class. In this class, we're going to talk about posing for erotic style of photography. Boudoir poses and erotic style of poses are quite similar, but at the same time, they're pretty different. For boudoir, in boudoir poses, we're mainly focusing on uh, curves and triangles, overall uh, shape of the and form of the body. We're focusing on um, softness, uh, elegancy of our subject. In erotic style of photography, we're focusing on our subject's sexuality. Those poses are more expressive, they're more exaggerated, and, and they require a little bit more flexibility. Um, a quick example, for, if we, for boudoir pose, we are keeping our knees together to create that elegant look and um, highlighting the curves and triangles of our subject's body. In um, erotic style of photography, we're keeping the knees most of the time apart. Uh, instead of uh, positioning hands softly and elegantly, uh, we would Mm, grab something, we would be more expressive with uh, the way we are positioning hands for erotic style of photography. Same with facial expressions. Facial expressions are mm, again more exaggerated, more sexual, uh, where uh, eyes are closed, lips apart, connecting hands with the um, uh, with the, the subject's lips and uh, we will talk more about uh, facial expressions for erotic style of photography in our next class. Uh, in today's class I want to introduce you to uh, most popular erotic poses and also posing flow uh, on the bed for erotic style of, of uh, photography. Um, let, we will start from, uh, before I start, keep in mind that we're pretty much using the same a type of pose that we use for boudoir. The base or the starting point is the same and then we will adjust it to erotic style. And uh, I, I will show you two poses really quick so you would have an idea. So Renee, if you can lay down on your belly. This is our one of the popular, most popular poses for boudoir. So you see how she brought her legs up a little bit just to create that flirty look, uh, um, bring your booty slightly up. And this way we are ex uh, highlighting the curve of her body. Um, bring one your hand closer to your face. Her hands are super soft and relaxed. Uh, and she, the same with her facial expressions, very relaxed. So this is a perfect pose for boudoir. For erotic style of posing, we will do uh, adjustments such as uh, bringing your, let's uh, bring the legs uh, down, uh, keeping knees uh, slightly apart and uh, bringing your booty all the way up as much as you can, kind of almost on your knees, perfect. And with your hands, you can grab the, 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 the bed sheet. Yeah, perfect. So as you can see, this is kind of similar to what we just did, but it's more exaggerated. It's more expressive and uh, there is more passion in this pose. And as I mentioned, it requires a little bit of flexibility. Relax. Let's go for another one, just sitting on your knees on the bed with knees together. And maybe a, uh, one uh, arm up, one down. Mm -hmm. Perfect. As you can see, it's very soft, very elegant, very natural uh, and easy to execute this type of pose. But now let's, um, let's again keep the knees slightly apart. 
uh, arching even more, bringing body leaning forward. Uh, keep one hand down and one kind of, uh, uh, yeah, oh, that's, that would work. So you see the facial expression, position of her lips, position connecting a finger with her lips uh, makes a big difference, huge difference. So uh, keep the chin up close your eyes yeah so you have to feel the pose you have to uh, exaggerate the pose you have to arch more perfect yeah and spreading uh, knees relax Rene. spreading knees apart actually helps to arch so that's one of the reasons we we do that it just helps us to arch and to exaggerate the pose so let's start with the posing flow. The same as for boudoir, we're starting from poses on the belly. That first pose actually is, is going to be, that you just showed us, is going to be our first pose. So let's lay down on the belly. Uh, knee, uh, let's, let's keep kn uh, knees together. So this is going to be our first pose with knees together, but the uh, booty all the way up, up, up. So you're going to be on your knees, perfect. Yes, right there, and then the, you can stretch even with your, um, or yeah, positioning it like that. Stretching, you can bring the, um, the, um, the upper body slightly up. So now from here, let's lower down again, um, and we will spread uh, uh, knees uh, apart but keeping feet slightly pointing towards each other. Yeah, that's pretty. So that's going to be um, our next uh, pose. So just slight adjustment in position of her legs. And if we can, we can kind of slightly elevate just a little bit and look down. Yeah, right there. That just like with the face uh, facing down the bed. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, like this kind of up and down mm -hmm. yeah right there mm -hmm. so that would be another way now lower your body a little bit it's difficult to hold those poses bring one uh, leg straight and another knee uh, bent and to the side let's turn to the actually it doesn't matter where you turn whatever works better for the camera yeah I think that would work uh, come closer to the edge mm -hmm like you're grabbing the edge of the bed there is more passion into that uh, connect your foot with yeah that uh, just helps us to shape the booty a little bit easier because when one knee it's easier to to do that pose because one knee is bent so we can elevate our booty easier and also this is another way to create that perfect beautiful shape um, or the curves of the booty okay so relax now from um, from here let's do when both le legs apart again kind of like on the same level but lower your body completely yeah mm -hmm. perfect so this uh, when we are working on poses on the belly uh, make sure you uh, walk around your subject because different angles will give you different uh, different um, different looks and some angles are better than uh, others and also don't forget to photograph from above for example this type of pose is perfect from composition from above so uh, relax now the next position uh, after we're done with poses on the belly we'll photograph from different angles from above uh, it's time to turn our subject to uh, your side so let's face uh, the window but your face is going to be kind of on the pillow that direction mm -hmm. and one knee bent kind of one straight and you can look back kind of yeah, over here, and I want you to connect again with uh, your hand, e e yeah, either uh, by the neck, like you're stretching, or yeah, that, that would work, let's, let's work with that. So that would be, again, my angle would be either right behind her, we're focusing on her back and on her uh, booty and her legs, um, or from a different angle where the camera is positioned right now, okay? Uh, now, when we are done with all the poses on one side, let's say we photograph, we achieved all the beautiful images uh, with the focus on her back and her booty, we will turn her to, uh, uh, on the other side facing the camera. So let's face the camera, perfect. Could be the same position, but here we will work mainly on 
I would say facial expressions or adding um, some sort of props would help also to make one or another pose more erotic. For example, if we are, uh, we can use um, a pillow as a prop and let's put it between the legs. And with one uh, hand, you're gonna kind of grab the pillow. Yeah, and I want you to feel the, the pose. Yeah, so more exaggerated, more passion into that. So you can uh, bring the chin all the way up and feel it. Yeah, perfect. So that could be photographed again, either from where I am right now or from the angle here, or again from above. So keep the ladder next to you all the time because all these poses look pretty cool from above as well. Just so that you could see better, let me rotate Rene and let's position it like diagonal right here. So this is my point of view, right? No, 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 not too much, just like, yeah, uh, diagonally, mm -hmm. perfect. So that's the angle, for example, I would go for. Uh, lower your knee just a little bit, yeah, and grab the pillow, yeah, perfect. Just like that. So yeah, from uh, now you can see that this is the, um, uh, in other way, like uh, if we rotate our subject and position her again on the side, we're now focusing on her face, on her um, uh, sexuality, on the way she's expressing that um, by connecting um, her hands with her neck or her lips and then grabbing the pillow. So that's another way to uh, to create that type of look or style, okay? Um, keep in mind shots from above or from one or another side um, would also look absolutely great. So from here, after we're done with all the um, uh, images on one or another side, it's time to move our subject on her back. So let's lay on your back. Let me, let me think. Let's lay on your back with your head going that direction and legs going the, the, towards the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, again, the idea is to adjust that pose um, for the erotic style. This is very, like, whatever she is doing now, that would work probably for boudoir. If you bring one here, one here, very elegant, very sensual and nice. Uh, so now we will adjust it to erotic style. We're gonna uh, bring bo both knees up, uh, bend, bend your legs and, yeah, spread them, perfect. So already looks very erotic. Now we can um, add more elements to this pose, arching back, mm -hmm, perfect. Looking, you can photograph from, the, uh, from exactly the angle where uh, the camera is positioned now, or from here looks amazing as well, or from above as well. So completely different looks could be achieved just by changing the angle. So relax for a second, I know it's hurt, it hurts. Um, for some people, it's very difficult to arch. Um, so what can be done uh, during the session? We can either ask to put all the weight or support that pose with the, uh, with her shoulders or the back and help to exaggerate that arch. So let's try that. So instead of putting all the pressure on your back, we'll put uh, more pressure on your shoulders. So you're still putting pressure on your back. Actually, yes, uh, so, or yeah, support it with your, your head as well. So that would help a lot. Uh, or we can also bring the, relax here, we can bring the booty up instead. And that's going to be also pretty I interesting at the same time and um, kind of erotic, right? And then we will work on position of arms, like stretching and um, bringing chin up and closing eyes, inhaling, things like that. Okay, relax. When we're done with all the poses on the back, it's time for our subject to sit on the bed. So let's sit on our knees and we show that pose already, kind of. Uh, and we're gonna spread the, the knees mm -hmm, 
or the legs, yeah, perfect. And either leaning forward or just if we're mainly focusing on facial expression, then we can add a hand, yeah, position it closer to her face or her lips and work on that. Or we can sit completely on the booty and let's face the wall for this one. Um, completely sit on your booty with your legs, one leg a little bit, kind of one lower than another one. So it would look different. Even one maybe abandoned completely like here. Yeah, and this one up. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So uh, this is another way. And, uh, and for this specific pose, I would also photograph uh, her from the angle where I am right now. It looks pretty cool or rotate, so face me. No, 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 mm -hmm. face me. Mm -hmm. So now you can see my angle, something like that, even more apart. Yes. You see, this would be very boudoirish, and I do that pose a lot. But now, as soon as she moved her leg away, that looks more erotic. Okay, now that pose can be also, uh, you can, the angle for this pose could be also from, uh, from the back of our subject, from the side or facing our subject. And of course, uh, you can go for poses where your subject, let's say on the floor, leaning towards the bed or on the bed, falling off the bed, touching the floor with her upper body, or even on the edge of the bed. And this one I wanna show really quickly. Uh, on the edge of the bed where you can lay down completely straight with one leg bent, touching the floor. Yeah. And now if you can look towards the wall with a little bit more expressive uh, facial expression. Perfect. Yeah, so that could be a potentially another type of pose where you are utilizing the uh, corners or the edges of the bed. Okay, let's get back. My mm -hmm. This is air mattress, so it doesn't look as flattering because she is <laughs> falling off the air mattress. You can get back on the bed. Um, but if it's a, um, it's a, a real mattress, real bed, that, that would look pretty cool. As you could see, all the poses uh, are very, very similar to uh, our boudoir poses. And you can sit down, uh, except that um, we have to do uh, small adjustments, especially we have to adjust a position of legs. So knees apart instead of together. Uh, we have to exaggerate uh, the arching of the back and uh, we have to work on position of hands and also facial expressions. So facial expressions play a huge role. Um, and even if she's not in any of those poses, but she expressing herself in erotic way, that whole look of the image will look erotic. In the next class, I'm going to introduce you to another important element, which is hiding the identity of our client or our model during the photo session to make it look very erotic.